Okay, Joe, you're yet to see a Riverside uh, beat Forest Green. We'll put that right at the weekend, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I know there's not much distance between the two clubs, and um, certainly last year, you know, they, they were a really good side. Um, you know, won the league and had some quality additions taken from them, and it's, it's made this season tough for them. But but we know that we're fight, they're fighting for their lives, and um, you know, as I say, we, we haven't managed to best them yet in my time at the club. Duncan Ferguson, for his part, yet to see a win at Forest Green. Were you surprised when he took that job? Um, no, I kept in contact with Duncan, obviously, he, he, you know, from his visits to Everton, and, and obviously he was a massive uh, childhood hero of, of mine, uh, being a, an Evertonian, there wasn't, there wasn't much latched on, onto, but, but Duncan was certainly a, um, you know, a hero amongst the Evertonians, certainly of my generation. I think they have had a new manager bounce. I've seen, you know, I've seen markedly um, improved performances, and, and they've just been unlucky. You know, they haven't managed to see the game out. A couple of ninetieth minute goals going against them. You know, lost by the odd goal here and there, probably bar in the Ipswich game. Um, and you know, he's, he's brave. You know, to leave Everton and, and uh, uh, the area he's been in a long time. His family. It shows. You know, he's desperate to make his own mark as a manager and. You know, we've all got to start somewhere and I think Forest Green's a, a brave place to take a job, you know, but, but again, you know, if you want to be a, a top manager, a top coach, you have to get out there and, you know, I think it'll be not just about this season, I think that'll be, you know, a big part of the job is League One, but I think he will have had assurances, I think the owner there is Dale Vince has got plans for the new ground, etc. So, it, it looks like a, a long-term decision and, and as I say, I, I think Dunk's had his fill of coaching and, and you know he's had the Everton caretaker job and fair play to him for you know leaving the security of Everton and, and the Premier League and uh, throwing his cap in the ring to, to, to you know be a League One uh, uh, um, manager. For us obviously a um, couple of uh, decent results in, in, in a row four points in the last two games is there any um, injury news ahead of Forest Green game for us? Just, just a couple of lads have gone down with illness um, so we'll, sit, we'll check on them in the morning. Um, but apart from that, no, we've got Josh Grant back on the grass, but he, he's going to be a period of uh, building his body back up. But, but that was a really pleasing sign this week to see uh, you know, Josh running around. He's not quite with the team yet, but um, you know, he's gone through a tough pe period as, as a player. And um, good signs that he's, he's back on the grass. It looks like Harry Anderson had a successful operation, so maybe just a, we could see him before the, at the end of the season, certainly. Yeah, I think H will, H will be back. As long as he doesn't have a setback, I think that was the reason I'm getting in this, so that he could he could get back in. And obviously, he's, he's out of contract in the summer, and you know you don't want to be going into a, a, a season or a pre-season when you're not in contract if, if your body's not 100%. So it, it's important for him to get um, some closure on that, and hopefully this operation is, is um, the end of that for him.